top manliest, manly, manliest man. A man's man kind of fragrance. Yeah, that's it. That's the title right there. So the deal is, I remember back in 1985, I was going out with a girl. I had all of these GOF Trumpers, like sandalwood and Spanish leather, and she didn't like it. She says, I don't want you to wear those old man's colognes. And I like the old man's colognes. Even in my 20s, she didn't like it. So I never really wore it that much with her. And I did. And then we'd have an argument. And then I got a new girlfriend because we didn't get along on much. But she was really hot. So my new girlfriend, I went out and I bought Blue Stratos. So Blue Stratos is an aquatic blue fragrance that you could get in the grocery store. The new girlfriend liked that one. But these are fragrances that I would say are the manliest manly man man's fragrances. Number one, seriously, I know Aventus, 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 right here. Jeroboam Vespero. This is a great smelling fragrance in straight to parfum, very strong. It has more of a strong leather note, but it's ultra masculine women go crazy over this one they jump for joy they go gaga they go crazy over jeroboam vespero before i get into number two i like to give a shout out to the ceo of aramspocket.com aramspocket.com he came over and uh dropped this off hell yeah you know a baby this is a splash this is something my dad wore I don't know what he actually wore, but it smells exactly like this. We used to go out to the Italian restaurant and, you know, he would be very calm and confident and you felt very secure. You're hanging out with your dad eating. It gives you a very calming, confident feeling, especially when my dad wore it. And it reminds me a lot of my dad. It would be considered like a, a fresh spicy. Like I, I know some people compare it to Givenchy Gentleman, the original. I like it a lot. It reminds me of my father. Ultra masculine. Oh, I got to pick that up. Accept no substitutes and clean your bottle before showing it to the world. Arrogance, poor home. Hell yeah, you know it. The next is from the manliest man's man. Manly man. This is Zaharoff Royale. I love this one. Yeah, a lot of people get the amber, the sandalwood, the green apple. And I know when I reviewed it, I said this is something I would wear back in the 90s, maybe when I went to Coconut Grove out with my buddies. Very good fragrance. Very calming. I get that green apple right away too. And the amber and the sandalwood in the dry down. Absolutely beautiful fragrance. Well worth the money. This is Zaharoff Signature Royale. Let me bring this one in early. Get it out of the way. I love this one. This is all Innsbruck. Nobody ever has bought it. Nobody. It's tobacco, flower, and menthol. It's got that camphorous vibe that gives you that breath of fresh air. I mean, that's all. Nobody's going to buy it anyway, but it smells great. And one day somebody will smell it and they'll say, oh my God, I've been hearing about cuddles talking about this fragrance for the last three years. It's great. It's great. That's all I can say. All oh, Innsbruck from 1953. Get it. I've had all the Cartier Declarations. This is the best one. This is Essence. It has that cumin note, which my buddy Mo. I always bring up the same stories. People are start, starting to get bored of my stories. But the cumin note is a very masculine note. I know he says it reminds him of Indian spices. I love this one. I've gotten so many compliments with this one. It's just a beautiful masculine fragrance. That's all. This is Decoration Cartier Essence. The next one is from Dan Naughton from Naughton and Wilson and Matt from Pocket Sense. Boom. Gravitas. Now, I kind of criticize this when I first got this, but I let it macerate. After you let it macerate, it smells great. It sort of reminds me of MDCI Invasion Bar Bar with a little bit of an orange twist in there. Very good, masculine, calming. 
I can't see, sorry. So I'm spraying it out there, but I get the vibe of it. This is definitely a beautiful fragrance and well worth the money. This is Gravitas by Martin and Wilson. The next one is definitely the best Aramis. Although I haven't smelled all the Aramis, my buddy over at Sense of South Jersey, Kellen said I should buy some other ones. But out of the Aramis that I've smelled, this is definitely the best one. And also my buddy Scent the Salt, Patrick is gonna review it and he's gonna go over the notes. He, he, he loves it actually. And I was like, yeah, dude, it's masculine. If you wanna know more about this fragrance, check out Scent the Salt's channel. He's going to do a review on Aramis. By Aramis. This is a great fragrance. Ultra masculine. This one, it took me a little bit getting used to. As my buddy Christian O says, Terry de Hermes. Terry de Hermes. Right? Uh, beautiful fragrance. Just try it. You know, I can describe it. But my description doesn't really describe it well. Vetiver. Dirty orange. Same old. Same old. Until I could come up with better descriptive terms. Just check it out. You could get a mini of this for about 20 bucks, but don't judge it by its first wearing. Wear it a couple times. It grows on you really quick. And if I encounter somebody that's actually wearing this, I think they're smarter than they really are. So it could trick people into thinking you're really smarter than you really are. This is Terre de Mez, EDT. The next one has a lot of smell likes, a lot of eucalyptus. You could say Tuscan leather. Tuscan leather cannot kiss the feet of this one. This is Godolphin, and I may spray it in my eyes because I can't. Oh, it went the other way. Okay. Ah, this one is so much better than Tuscan leather. Truly, it's, you know, the raspberry and all that. It's the mate tea that brings this one out. I love the mate tea note. You get the leather. It's just the best one. I feel like it's the easiest to wear and it will get you the most compliments. This is Parfums de Marley, Go Dolphin. Boss number one. Yes, honey, tobacco, a little bit of everything in there. Carnation, which is a really masculine note. Just They should have stopped right there at 1985 and just continue to make suits and that's about it. This is the original, the best boss from 1985, boss number one, the big boss. I have mixed feelings about this one. This is Habit Rouge EDP. It's very, a weird smelling fragrance. It's not like a compliment getting fragrance. It reminds me of somebody in their 60s, but it's strange smelling, but I'm drawn to it, if that makes any sense. It smells like ebony wood. I know ebony wood isn't a note in this fragrance, but it reminds me of ebony wood. I would say this is a 60 year old plus fragrance, but it's very calming. And my grandfather wore this fragrance, so take it for what it's worth. This is Habit Rouge EDP by the one and only Khan. Shout out to everyone who has purchased this from my recommendations. Salvador Dali, EDT, I wear this to sleep every night, for the most part every night. Some people say it, it's like a, a lot of patchouli. I don't know what it is, but it relaxes me. And that's all I can say is it relaxes me. It's not too expensive. And I think if you pick it up now while it's still available, it will be wise because I don't think it's going to be available forever it's just a great fragrance and it's very relaxing i'm sort of going to sleep right now to be honest because this thing just hit me like <sighs> cuddles go to sleep go to sleep go to sleep that's what kind of fragrance this is this is salvador dali poor home with the lips baby don't forget the lips a lot of people don't like this fragrance and i understand why some people say it's harsh some people say it smells like an ashtray I don't know. I love it. It's uh, Gallagher Fragrances Eau Fraiche. To me, it's so fresh, 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 that it reminds me of running through a, a tobacco field. And it's supposed to be like tobacco leaf, actually. Yeah, it just does something for me. Not everybody's going to like it, 
but this is Gallagher Fragrances Eau Fraiche with the notes right on the front there so I don't have to go over anything next fragrance I really I mean maybe if you're watching this video maybe you may like it but I don't really recommend it so much this is Fahrenheit now which way is it gonna spray oh it sprayed towards the camera good okay got my camera lens all wet it has a nice energizing feel to it and that's why I love it just check it out try it on some people really don't like it some people love it it's energizing more than anything else so this is Fahrenheit EDT this is my best pickup from 2021 it's a woody citrus has a little bit of basil has a little bit of rose but it's so well blended that you really can't pick those notes apart this is Boucheron EDP my best pickup from 2021 last but not least this is Heritage Heritage Guerlain Heritage one of the highest rated fragrances on Fragrantica and it would be an insult for this guy to really explain what's in it because it has so much it's relaxing that's all I can say it's like whoa it transports you it's just oh god oh. the best of the best this is Carlan Heritage if you like these kind of videos let me know please give me a thumbs up or thumbs down I get a lot of thumbs down but give me a thumbs up thank you very much